Yo, what is up guys? My name is Chris Wiestead and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the hologram sort of glitchy effect. Icons and honestly you could add it to footage as well. Just create some really unique and dope looking videos So before we go ahead and hop inside the tutorial gotta let you guys know that I run the takeover shop Where I sell editing assets and presets for content creators literally just like you So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started on today's tutorial. All right, you guys So I actually have a clip of young LA I've honestly just been enjoying editing other people's cool footage because me personally I haven't been out shooting in a long time. So we're gonna be using some dope footage Yo, real quick before we continue with the tutorial I want to let you guys know that the ultimate solo creator bundle is out now and hands down this is the best product that i've made i've spent the last year and a half creating this preset pack so that way i don't have to keep doing repetitive tasks and through this kit i was actually able to optimize my workflow so now i don't spend hours and hours each and every single day editing content like now editing is just a simple drag and drop process and like i genuinely mean that i use these presets each and every single day and they're actually pretty gas so if you want to be able to edit like me and plenty of other dope creators online go ahead and check it out down below in the description and let's get right back to the video the effect is going to look something like this. Let's go ahead and drag and drop our preset from the takeover preset pack, which by the way, down in the description, if you want to go cop it. So this is sort of like the hologram effect. Now there's different variations and settings you can play with to make it look a little bit different. So that's what we're going to be showing you guys how to do in today's video. So first things first, let's go ahead and type in Venetian. I just type in V E N E and then it pops up for me. And then we're going to play with these settings. The so transition completion. You can see the lines popping up. We want the direction to be horizontal. So 90 degrees. And then we could add, we could play with the width. Then we could also play with the feather. And the feather, honestly, we don't need. Put that at zero. And then the higher the transition completion is, the less spaced out the hologram is going to be. We could also even increase it. Um, but honestly, I think we're going to go with something like that. And so far, this is what we have. Honestly, it looks really boring right now. Like this looks kind of trash, not gonna lie. So how do we sauce it up? We're gonna go ahead and go to turbulent and add turbulent displace. And what this is gonna do, is it's gonna make like a little bit of a wiggle. Um, as you can see, it's static, looks just mad goofy. Um, so let's go ahead and play with the size. So let's go ahead and maybe do something like so. Play with the size amount, make it a little bit maybe smaller. So it's a little bit more wavy. And then we're going to go to evolution. And evolution is what sort of animates it. So we want to go to the toggle animation. We could play with the complexity as well, which actually I like that, not going to lie. And then let's go ahead and get started on the evolution. So start it at zero, go to the end, and then just like make it wiggle and do its thing so let's see how this looks like speed wise okay so that's a little bit too wavy a little bit too big so let's go ahead and adjust these settings to like size maybe turn it down there we go that looks a lot better maybe go to amount maybe turn up the amount a little bit something like so maybe turn the complexity down and we'll watch this through there we go that looks actually a lot better. And then there you guys go. That is the hologram effect. It's super, super easy, super simple to make. You guys can go ahead and play around with the overlay setting just like so. Uh, you guys can go to lighten if you want. You guys can just honestly play around with it. Like linear burn, that doesn't do anything. Maybe soft light, maybe even hard light. I think hard light would actually look good. There we go. Just super simple. So again, like I said, you guys can do this with text as well. Me personally, I really like to add it to my icons inside of my short form content. But honestly, you can get very creative with this effect. So use it on whatever you like, test things out, play with the settings and make it your own. Now, again, if you guys don't want to create this from scratch, I do have it inside of my preset pack available on my store linked down below. But anyways, guys, that is it for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.